Hello, and welcome to Inside ICSD with Dr. Brown, a show with Superintendent Luvelle Brown that takes a look inside the Ithaca City School District. I'm Rishi Verma, a senior at Ithaca High School, and our show is produced by my fellow English and digital media classmates at Ithaca High School. I'm joined today by Dr. Brown, Superintendent of Schools. Thank you. We're looking forward to having a series of these conversations throughout the year. Today, we have some special guests, uh, Mr. Trumbull and Dr. Matt Landau. And we want to spend some time talking about the shifts that have occurred at the central and building level as far as administrators. With Mr. Tr Mr. Trumbull, I um, want to thank you for what you've done for the organization uh, for many, many years now. How many years have you been working in the ICSD? I've been with the district for 23 years, Dr. Brown. 23 years. And you've done everything from being a teacher to an assistant principal, a principal, a central office administrator. And now um, Mr. Trumbull's holding the title of chief administration officer. And in that role, when he starts that role, he will be in charge of all things transportation, maintenance, building facilities, and student co code of conduct and issues. So a mm -hmm. re really large role for us as, we've, as the work has evolved centrally and we need a great person to lead that. But in the immediate future, he's going to be the principal here at Ithaca High School. And we're excited about that role. And we're going to talk some about that today. Great. To my far right, uh, Dr. Matt Landau, who uh, joined us from Virginia not long ago, uh, having been a, a great teacher and uh, an administrator, principal, assistant principal and the principal there, he came into uh, our organization as a chief elementary officer. And I think it's uh, widely known that what's happened at the elementary level over the past couple of years under his leadership has been remarkable, from professional development to uh, curriculum development uh, to achievement for our young people. And now, uh, Dr. Landau is going to be moving into a role we call the uh, chief academic officer. And so not only will he be leading our efforts at the elementary level, he'll be leading our efforts at, from pre-K through 12. So vertical alignment, horizontal alignment, and continual, continuous work on implementing uh, the Common Core standards, uh, developing great assessments, providing outstanding professional development. So our chief administration officer and our chief academic officer, and also uh, the current principal at Ithaca High School, uh, right now. Those are the most uh, significant shifts we've made to administration here at some time, and we're excited about these outstanding educators taking on that challenge. So Dr. Landall, you've been working with younger students and earlier education curriculum. How do you think that experience will help you develop curriculum at the high school level? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I think, uh, honestly, uh, the work over the last few years has been uh, some of relationship-based, getting to know the principals in the building, getting to know the needs of the schools, getting to know teachers and teacher leaders, uh, and then trying to support them with resources and time to get the work done um, that they need to do. So, uh, so I think the same thing will happen at the secondary level, both at the middle school level and at the high schools. Uh, we will, uh, we will or I will be going around to talk with secondary principals and talk with teacher leaders in all the schools and find out what needs there are, what, what uh, support that they need, and we'll start developing some plans to move the work forward. So um, I think I can take what we did at the elementary level and, and not necessarily uh, expand it in terms of the exact things done in the classroom. Obviously there's huge differences between elementary and secondary, but the process is similar. It's getting to know people, uh, finding out how they need to be supported, and then developing a plan to try to do that. Mr. Trumbull, what excites you about, uh, well, let's start with the high school role. What sure. excites you about uh, moving into the leadership role at Ithaca High School? Uh, the initial excitement came when we uh, spoke to the staff and the warm welcome that I received from the staff because many of the staff have been longtime colleagues of mine. Uh, so to look out into the staff and, and, and Dr. Landau brought up the issue of uh, relation. Uh, I've got a great relationship with much of the staff and I've certainly uh, honed and developed that uh, with our newer staff as well. So that was the initial startup. Uh, and then came the students, which uh, for me is a very natural um, strength-based approach uh, in terms of getting to know kids that I have. I already know half the students from Boynton Middle School in my time as principal there. So as I had uh, many students come up and give me bear hugs and pick me up and say, uh, you've come back for my senior year, uh, that was something that I didn't expect. Uh, and it's been uh, very accommodating and welcoming. And uh, um, I said this to other folks that uh, I haven't uh, really walked this tall and felt this excited in, in some time, Dr. Brown. So it's been a homecoming of sorts. Mm -hmm. and, and I look forward to the work. Yeah, I, I can see it. Uh, yeah. What about the new role when you transition from it? And again, uh, Mr. Trumbull will be coming back into the yeah. central office uh, hopefully uh, late spring, early summer. Sure. And what excites you about the new role you're going to be 
coming back into. Yeah, I think uh, when you talk about uh, building and district safety, when you talk about transportation, you talk about athletics, fine and performing arts, all those things on the operational side of the district, um, those are things that I've, that I've uh, placed strong emphasis on in terms of helping educate students, making sure that folks have the resources around them, that uh, we have strong learning climates. Um, and uh, I've long said to our bus drivers, sometimes they are the first and last faces of the children uh, that they see, and they can really set the tone and really end uh, uh, conclude with a great day. So I look forward to that work and uh, continue to build my relationships with folks on the operations end mm -hmm. of, of the school district, which are critical uh, to students success and, uh, and family relationships so uh, I, I'm pretty excited about that so oh. it's it'll be a little bit of a struggle to keep me out of that role uh, while I'm at the high school. I <laughs> I'll help you with that one. Yeah <laughs> thanks. So Mr. Trumbull, yes. uh, you're known for being a really strong sports coach. How do you think that leadership role is now going to translate to uh, you being principal of the high school? Um, I, I I use a coaching lens for everything, Rishi, and I told the staff that on that first day, uh, whether I've been a teacher, as Dr. Brown said, vice principal, principal, I've always used that coaching lens. I think it's a strength-based approach. It's one where I get to know folks around me, kind of set a, a common mission, where we want to go. Um, so whether you're coaching a team of 90 boys looking for the stacker sectional championship or you're uh, trying to coach a staff of over 100 to make sure that we've got uh, uh, inclusive and high uh, standards for our practice. Um, I see those as one and the same. So uh, I really enjoy uh, every morning I've started here at the high school, I do a round um, and I try to shake as many hands as I can and give folks high fives, at staff and students included, uh, because my hope is I'm, I'm trying to coach folks up for that day and make sure that we're uh, really positive, uh, positive teachers, uh, positive principal, positive folks around students, uh, results in positive students in a positive learning environment. So Dr. Landall, um, already folks are seeing um, Mr. Trumbull's style and and seeing what he's looking to bring to the high school and will be bringing to his new role. Uh, what should folks in the community, students, be looking to see from you in your new role? Um, some key initiatives, some key work that you may start in the near future. Uh, well, first, hopefully they uh, see me in all of the buildings. Uh, I tried to uh, be out in the elementary schools as much as possible under my uh, previous role, and so I'll expand into the secondary school. So I want to be in the buildings a lot. Uh, there's several large projects that we're working on rolling out. Uh, one is the special education improvement plan. Uh, we had a, uh, we created an advisory committee uh, of community members, teachers, parents, um, and other staff. And we actually had our first meeting last night where we started looking at uh, the, the current plan and talking about changes we want to make to the, uh, to the revised version of the plan for this year. Um, we have, you, you mentioned earlier in the show, uh, common core shifts, those are happening now. Um, pre-K through 12, and so we want to support teachers and principals in their work to, to, to do those shifts well. And then uh, integrating learning technologies into, into our everyday practice, we're looking to expand that, uh, if possible, this year and going into next year for sure with uh, looking at using a Google, Google Chromebook uh, model uh, for a lot of our students in grades 4 through 12. It may not happen all at once, but we're looking to do that uh, really well and to put uh, to put that uh, mobile technology into student hands uh, so they can really start accessing uh, information and apps and all the great things that come with that 24-7. So, so we're excited about several of those initiatives. And there's also curriculum work at the elementary level will continue. Uh, some great middle school curriculum work happened this summer and we look to try to continue that as well. And, uh, and again, the, the last part is looking at, um, we had to cut way back on the pro uh, professional development budget for this year. Um, but going into next year, we really want to uh, be able to put some funds back in that and really be strategic about how we do uh, PD in the future to support our teachers and our paraprofessionals. So we have a lot of things, uh, a lot of initiatives that we're all very excited about. Exciting, exciting. Thanks to my co-host, and thank you to our wonderful guest today, Dr. Landau and Mr. Trumbull. And be sure to send your comments and suggestions to our show via email, ihswred at gmail.com, and continue the conversation on Twitter using the hashtag InsideICSD. Thank you so much.